Good day, beautiful people. And today's episode on Sketch with Pearl Naomi, our project, you know, for today is going to be on drawing the face tilting forward. As you can see here, there's a face looking so strongly at you, like, hello. <laughs> so, this is a face showing tilting um, forward, rather. So, let's dive in. Let's begin by drawing um, a spherical shape. I'm going to be drawing a very big one right here so that you all can see for yourself very clearly. Right, this, so this is a spherical shape that I have done. So you begin by segmenting it. I'm going to make use of my ruler. I want you to segment properly, divide into half, right? I am going to divide also the width band. You check, you check now for here it is 13 and a half, 13. So I'm going to be doing 6.5. So I'll be drawing this straight down. You know, that's the width band. Do that. So at this normal level, you are going to draw like you are going to draw something like this, like a curve, right? So this is going to represent the high level. So the nose is going to be at the midpoint of the of the uh, of the other half of the circle. So also the so here, here, you're going to draw a curve. So let's begin for the nose. You know, you're going to be drawing something like this. Did you see that? So the mouth will be very close, very close to the um, it will be very close to the nose as though it is touching the nose. So you draw. You understand? So you draw the same curve you, you did on the nose. Draw it at the mouth level and also the midpoint of the mouth can you see that draw that right so did you see that so let's draw the high level so. You see that so you're going to be drawing the shape of the face so just follow me as I draw it so it will be like this yeah like this yeah did you see that so we have the high move like this and this move like this this move like this and like this okay. so you draw the high wrist Make sure it's at the midpoint of the of the eye. So you draw the eyebrow. More like he's extending out. Did you see that? More like he's extending out. So I don't advise you. Oops. I 
guys, I just need a misty. So I don't advise you to do the eye differently, do it simultaneously. As you do the right, you do the left. There's a small, there's a retina. Alright, so this is how we go about it. For the mouth, of course, you make this large. You make this large. Alright, so for the the shape of the of the chin, you know, this one will be at the to be high like this just like this so from the eye level you bring it down to the chin from the eye level this is going to shape the it's going to shape the face from the eye level you bring this down like that right so what you do is you rub off the excesses you have beside so that's how you go about the shipping all right so let's go back to the eye let's go back to the eye do something like this at the eye to just give cast a little bit of shadow shadow light shadow light right all right so let's do this for the face let's, uh, let's do the eye the lashes see Same thing for the ear. You see? lightly so you come here again you may pronounce this side this part of the nose you make it so pronounced right the face uh, to the forehead now you're gonna be showing so much right if you do you're gonna be showing so much of the forehead right, so I'm trying I'm trying to draw the airline right now so you're gonna be showing so much of this 
I'm going to be teaching how to draw the airline on this this page turn. Teaching how to draw the airline turn. So at the eye level, you know, we have the the hair of the croquet. Okay. So make the hair so. you don't need so I have rubbed off all lines that I don't need right So now what I'm doing is I am blending the the shades. I'm blending them so that it's gonna be even and nice. I'm using a blender to blend. If you don't have a blender, you can uh, actually get um, a cutting glue to blend out the shade neatly so that it's not gonna stain the drawing and it's gonna be nice. Um, it's going to be um, presentable to people so now I'm doing that of the lips at the joint part you know it's going to be very dark at the joint part but you know you're going to cast the shadow you're going to leave uh, like um, light in between in the middle in the middle of the upper lip and the lower lip all right so now I'm using um, a pen, hattest pen, to highlight my drawings. Yes, so that you see it so clearly. Those things I have done. If I am going to be painting, I don't need this yet. All right, I don't need this yet. Subsequently, we'll be viewing that also how to um, how to paint our figures. But for now, I want to make it so 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 clear for for viewing sake so i'm using the artist pen to make that happen so i'm just highlighting all the features that has been drawn already now 
now we have it. We have the fish tilting, you know, forward. This is the fish tilting forward, right? Now you see a pronounced forehead. You see the lid showing so well. You can see, you know, the hairline so clearly. You know, you see there's a tilt that it shows a tilt forward, right? So, uh, the next video we'll be doing next is going to be the face tilting backward, right? If you want to draw a crookie that has a face tilting backward, yeah, I'm going to show us in the next video. Stay tuned. All right. Bye. Until next time. See ya.